This morning, I have just signed the first supplementary budget for the year 2022-2023. The budget is a budget of 7.608472106. This is a, a budget that has, uh, the supplementary budget has realized what we call a shortfall of about 300 million from what we anticipated in the first budget. This one has been caused by, among other things, one, the cost-cutting measures at National Treasury, which has uh, led to quite a number of uh, reduction in the conditional grants that come through the donors. We have also had to uh, remember last year we actualized the Nyeri Health Fund, which takes away money from the uh, central budget to the hospitals uh, or the institutions themselves, about 100, 300 million. And therefore, this one means we have the reductions that we, uh, that we can now see. Despite the money being within the system, that is within the hospital system, it doesn't reflect here because it is really not going to be an earning per se. And so pr to pro protect it and to ring fence it, that is why we did the Nyeri Health Fund, so that that fund can continue growing and continue giving uh, services to our people. But some of the highlights is that uh, the biggest chunk of our money, around 2.6 billion, uh, 2.632, 788, 699 goes to health. Once again, health takes the, the lion's share because 2.2 million is going towards um, the recurrent expenditure, O&M, salaries, and all, all others, while only we have about 382 million that will go to development. It is important that uh, we continue focusing on health because a healthy population definitely will create wealth. Uh, looking at our budget, a num uh, we, we have a number of, uh, the county assembly itself will have about 835 million to be able to do what they are supposed to do. Sometimes I don't know why people think that the county assembly is supposed to be doing development. They don't. They have only about, I think, 50 million to go towards the maintenance of the offices here is about 52 million is all that goes to that and so that from the end we don't expect development the development comes from our end and that is why we have distributed all this money so we will have 2.282 541 632 as the amount of money available for development i want to call upon the executive to ensure that we hit the ground running it is also important to note that quite a number of projects were ongoing since this, uh, the budget was passed around June. And uh, since July, we have continued to do a number of things. We want to urge that all outstanding projects, all ongoing projects, whether the MCA uh, was thrown out and another one came, we must begin with those ones. We cannot afford to waste public resources uh, because the, uh, we change our priorities. So I have asked the, the, the Department of Finance and all other departments to ensure that all ongoing projects are completed first before we can undertake new projects. That is why you realize that in the Department of Finance, we have about 755 million, which will also go to, towards payment of any other pending bills. So I want to urge all of us to be focused, but key thing we must understand is that we must raise our revenue uh, collection. Our own source revenue must be raised from 700 million, which we have now anticipated, to about 1.2 billion. And therefore, I urge departments, we have just almost, I think we are in the process of passing a new finance bill. It must be, um, we must focus on ensuring that we raise as much own source revenue as possible. And going forward, I think even as counties, 
we have to do to work hard to ensure that we have our own source of revenue as opposed to where we have to continue relying on what we are calling the uh, equitable share. One of the challenges we, we, we continue seeing is that a lot of money is left at national government and we thank President William Ruto who has promised to unbundle and, and release all functions that are meant to be done by counties to the counties. Of course, we will ask that those functions, as they are devolved, they are devolved together with the, with, with the resources. One of them that we are awaiting is the library function, which should be devolved with the requisite funds. It's unfortunate that uh, ECD was devolved with no monies, and we have to look for money. We are also struggling because we know that uh, the, the, the VTCs, there was a two billion the, uh, conditional grant that was given to all counties that ha was, was uh, I think, um, amalgamated with the, with, the, with, the, with the equitable share. We are still insisting that one should be brought back so that we are able to do. Thank you very much. We are here for a very simple exercise that is to witness the signing of the first uh, supplementary budget for the financial year 2022-2023. As, as a speaker of the county assembly and with the, together with the leadership, we have uh, made the necessary, uh, we, have, we have done what you're supposed to do. We said, as I said earlier, is that ours is to complement each other and as an assembly, we scrutinize the, the, the budget and we, of course, passed it. But of course, we had to give members to, uh, an opportunity to scrutinize the budget and also uh, make their contributions. And that is why we are here today. Uh, as, as we speak today, we are in the process of uh, analyzing the financial, uh, I, I mean, the 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 finance bill that is our next uh, exercise and once we are done we are going to uh, of course give members an opportunity to pass and of course make their contributions we have also invited members of the public to make sure that we give them a chance to uh, make their contributions to the finance bill and i'm sure that, uh, that we are in the right uh, track and what I want to say is that we thank His Excellency the Governor because uh, we have a very good working relationship as a county assembly and also uh, with the county government.